Hi everyone, it's Jana Eubank with the Cricut Circle blog and I'm here today to show you how I put together my project for the September monthly challenge which is the window dressing challenge. What we'd like you to do this month is add some kind of window element to your project. We're so excited to see your creativity with this and, and look forward to seeing your projects pop up in the gallery. I decided to create this baptism invitation using the Damask Decor cartridge, my Cricut Expression, and my Gypsy. I also used the Cuddlebug machine and the Swiss Dots embossing folder on the inside. This is a fairly easy announcement to put together and I thought it would be great to show you because it can be used for so many events like weddings, baby showers, uh, winter white Christmas parties, or even an Easter dinner invitation. So the first thing you're going to need is some bright white cover cardstock. I use this Wausau bright white cover from my local copy center. I love it because it's very crisp and whiter than normal white cardstocks, and that's what I wanted in this project. Next, you'll need to download to the Gypsy file. And basically what I've done is taken this image from the Damastic Core cartridge and put it on a card base. And what I did was hide this inner window, and I also hid this outer frame. That way I could um, adhere my photo to the invitation and then sandwich it in between these two layers and it just looked a little more elegant, kind of gave it an embossed feeling with this frame and it was a little more elegant or polished than just placing the, the photo on the card base. So cut these two shapes out and then next you'll want to score your 5x7 card and we'll take it from there. Okay, I have folded my card base in half. And the first thing we're going to do is create the inside of our announcement or our invitation. So what I've done is I printed off the invitation information on this uh, on my color printer, and this piece of cardstock is four inches wide by 4.75 high. I'm not going to ink the edges or anything, but I'm just going to adhere, use my tape runner adhesive to adhere this invitation information right here. Next, I have a piece of white cardstock that is cut to two and a half inches wide by 4.75 inches tall. And what I'll need to do is emboss this with my Swiss Dots embossing folder. I'm going to line it up and center it between the dots as best as I can. And then I'm going to run that through my cuddle bug using my A plate as the base and then let me move that so you can see it a little better and then two B plates. So we'll sandwich that in between there and just run that through. There we go. Beautiful. We'll add some adhesive to that. And we'll adhere that to that card. I really love how this looks as it peeks through the little window on the invitation. So there's the inside. Okay, we have the inside of our invitation all ready to go. And now we're ready to decorate the front of the invitation. So what you'll need is your shape that you cut from your Damask Decor cartridge. Then you'll need a photo that's four and a quarter wide by four and three quarters tall, a length of white sheer ribbon, and then I picked up these uh, ribbon embellishments to embellish my bow. I just got these at Joann's. So um, you can find those there. Then you'll also need some liquid adhesive and some tape runner adhesive. So first things first, is we're just going to run a length of the tape adhesive right here along this frame. That is going to secure our sheer ribbon in place. And we just place it on there, like so. Next, we're gonna add adhesive to our photo, which I've already done, and then we're going to adhere that right next to this frame and just make sure we have it centered top to bottom right over the ribbon. Next, we're going to use our liquid adhesive to um, add glue to the back of this, this frame piece.
We want all these details to lay flat, so this glue dries fairly quickly, so we want to work quickly. Okay, after we have that ready, we're going to adhere it to our card. So there's that. Now we're going to pull the ribbon around and tie a bow. Just finesse it a little bit. Then use our scissors to trim. And finally, we'll just glue this little embellishment right there, and you'll have a beautiful invitation to send out to your family and friends. Thanks so much, so, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm Jana Eubank for the Cricut Circle blog. See you next time.